It's a good start to the trip. Love the fact that uh, back-to-back games, single digits off of our turnovers. That was a big uh, Achilles heel for us in, in, in uh, most of the season. So it's good to see us get those numbers down, uh, which will naturally make the defensive numbers look better. Uh, and again, I thought it was a great defensive effort tonight uh, by everybody. And uh, the 30 assist, I absolutely love. I thought De'Aaron was in attack mode all night, which is what we want to see. And uh, really got some nice performances from from uh, everyone who who, uh, who had the opportunity to play tonight. Start with James Ham. Hey Luke, uh, Buddy Hill just looked like a different player tonight. I, I don't know if it's a little bit of the Kobe stuff or uh, or something different, but just how much do you guys need that type of Buddy Hield uh, for your team to be successful? Yeah, I thought it was his most his most consistent game. Um, you know, this year for sure. And, and, you know, maybe since I've been here, just from a standpoint of playing, uh, you know, both sides of the ball, making good decisions, knocking down shots when we needed shots to be made, uh, getting off the ball when they were blitzing him and really just a steady, uh, steady game by him tonight. And uh, yeah, I mean, that, look, we, we, we need that. It's a tough league to win in. Um, and to get that type of play from him, uh, will give us a, a, a much better chance. Sean Cunningham. Luke, um, you know, on the defensive end, you're, you guys have had, you know, you've held your opposition eight of the last nine quarters under 30 points. How far does – I know it's a small sample size, but how far does that seem uh, away from where you guys were earlier this season? Well, it's – I mean, it's nice. It gives us a chance to win. Uh, and we – our guys, like I said, they, they, they've they been working hard. And uh, and part of it was the amount of points we were giving up off our own turnovers. Uh, it felt like every night I was looking down, it was 20-plus points off our own turnovers. So then even if you're holding an opponent to 105, it's 125. And, you know, that's – you know, that – that so cleaning that up has helped. But I, I believe our guys are, are getting better. Um, it, uh, it's, it was nice to get Hassan back out there tonight to kind of anchor us down. Uh, we still got pushed around on the offensive glass, uh, but we did some pushing around too on, on their, uh, on our offensive glass or theirs, however you want to look at that. But, um, yeah, we're, we're getting better. And like I said, we, you know, it was, it was a nice way to, to start the trip and our defense looks much better right now, uh, than a week ago. Tony Harden. Yeah, Coach Walton. Um, I, I, I'm not bringing up anything about the off season. I, I just want to know what was going, uh, what's going on right now from training camp up until uh, January 27, 2021. Buddy's attitude. Where is he at right now? A few games ago, he had a question about his shooting. He was real confident and said that it would get better. It is getting better. What has been his attitude uh, since the season started? Yeah, he's been great. He's been very professional. Um, you know, this is uh, you know, me and him had a had a, a good long talk when he got here, and uh, he's you know he's he's been uh, from an attitude standpoint, he's been a, the professional you would you would uh, expect him to be and want him to be, and you got you know you give him credit for that. Matt George. Hey Luke, before the the fourth quarter, it was eight straight quarters that your team had held your opponents to under thirty points in those quarters. Going back to the fourth quarter of the Clipper game, uh, you shared with us that of course this team still has a long way to go defensively, but to see improvement like that, a streak of of less than thirty points in each quarter, what does that mean for the progression of this squad? Well, I mean, it's big because it's you, you, when you put in the work, players like to to see the the results. Um, and you know to 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 feel it and experience holding teams under 30 in a quarter uh and then another quarter and then another quarter so uh you know that that's part of the the the, the learning curve that's part of the process and um you know it, it came at a good time because the, the way we were playing defense we weren't gonna we weren't gonna uh win a lot of games jason jones hey luke uh tonight it seemed that Buddy, he started the game going at the basket, taking some mid-range jumpers, kind of get himself going. Just when a guy hasn't been able to find his shot overall, how good is it to see him look to score in different ways other than just the three that he's relied on so much this year? Yeah, it's important. Um, and what I thought was really, uh, you know, really 
impressive about his individual game tonight was he was just making the right read, right? Like we know Orlando likes to sit in that deep drop. So when he came off, uh, he came off those screens and the big wasn't up. He just, you know, with balance underneath him, he, he shot what are easy shots for him. Uh, and, you know, when it was in transition and they were running him off the line, he uh, he took the ball to the rim. And then when they started blitzing him later in the game, uh, he got off the ball and, and gave passes to the center and, and let them create. Uh, so, yeah, it, it, it is important to be able to get yourself going by scoring easier buckets than just threes. Uh, but I thought his overall decision making was uh, was really, really good tonight. Marshall Harris. Hey, Luke, when, when you look at the way your team played, despite not great shooting nights from uh, De'Aaron Fox and Tyrese Halliburton, who've been kind of in charge uh, running the floor, how, what does that speak to you in terms of the, the team's capabilities if you can have guys with off shooting nights, De'Aaron four for 17, Tyrese three of 11, but they combined for 17 assists um, with just four turnovers and both of them uh, very active in, in making things happen, even if their shot's not falling? Yeah, well, I mean, that's what, you know, we're trying to get to as a team. Like, we play a certain way all the time, and we're not there. But but I thought De'Aaron and Tyrese played their games tonight. They were a- attacking. They were aggressive. They were playmaking for others. And, and then there's going to be some nights your shot's just not going. Uh, but as long as, as long as you're doing what you do every night, then the team will be in a pretty good spot. And you'll win some and you'll lose some, depending on, on you know, who's hot and who's not. But – uh, that's what we're trying to build towards. And, uh, you know, I thought I thought tonight was a good example of that by those two, right? Like two of our best players have four shooting nights, but they did other things. They they created assists. They rebounded the ball. They picked up defensive pressure. Um, and that's what we have to do as a team. Crystal Saltis. Hello, Coach. Congratulations on the win. Thank I'd like you. to ask you. Uh, how important for you was to set the tone from the first minute of the game because you started pretty well. You set the tone from your offense and defense also. And how important for you was to have every player of your starting lineup with double figures? What it means about your effort? Yeah, I mean, I, personally, I like that. I like seeing that when, I, when we have five, six guys in double figures. It means we're playing together. We're sharing the ball. We're trusting each other. Um, we had 30 assists tonight. Uh, so that's what we're looking for. And, and honestly, that's when the game is fun. And, and, and uh, you know, that's when our team is at its best. So, uh, again, just, you know, we'll continue to work, continue to try to get better. And tonight was uh, a, a good a good one for us. Jason Anderson. Hi, Luke. Nice win for you guys. Um, uh, regarding Marvin, you've talked about um, how you've seen some good stuff from him defensively. Uh, tonight you saw him pass out of a crowd to an open shooter. Um, have you, you know, given everything he's been through over the last couple of years, have you kind of pulled him aside and had a moment to, to say, look, I, you know, I see you working. I'm proud of the, the progress you're making. Well, he knows that uh, me and him talk a lot. Um, and, you know, he, he, he played a, a, a big time game for us tonight. Uh, and down the stretch, it was one of those things where you only can have five guys on, on the floor. Right. And uh, Harrison was great. Marvin was great. Rashawn was great. Buddy played great. And De'Aaron was in attack mode. And Tyrese has been clutch all season for us. So, uh, you know, he played a great game, uh, didn't finish it, but we wouldn't have been in that in that position without him. So, uh, you know, he, he is making great progress. He continues uh, to improve and, and earn the trust uh, of his team and his coaches. And, yeah, I think that pass he, he made to, to – uh, to Corey in the corner, I think it was Corey in the corner was big time, I and mean, that's how not only he but we all have to play all the time. I and mean, that was uh, that was uh, a play that he went, what you know wasn't making a few weeks ago. Um, go back to Tony Harvey, just a couple more. Uh, yeah, coach. You know, getting back to the, oh, getting back to the uh, starters, uh, they all were in double figures early in the third quarter. Uh, just want to get your thoughts that. Is that something that has to do with practice? How they've been looking at practice that spilled over into the game? Uh, what's your views on that? Uh, you know, that, that's just the team playing, uh, you know, believing in, in each other and, and playing for each other. Um, in practice, I'd actually give the second unit the credit for that because the second unit kicked the, kicked the crap out of them uh, when we played, when we practiced here uh, yesterday. Uh, the, the second unit won every matchup. So, uh, but that's what that's what you like to see in your team. You like to see 
you know, the units kind of going at each other and making each other better and pushing each other. And I thought part of why the starters played so well tonight is because they, you know, they got, uh, they, they got, uh, they got beat up on yesterday. All right. Last one, Matt George. And speaking to practice coach, how important is it to not only see this response tonight, the first game after those those practice days, but the response coming up in the the doubleheader this weekend? How important is it to see tonight's effort carry over into uh, into those games for those lessons to really set in? Yeah, well, I mean it's it's about consistency, right? And we are all know there's going to be step uh, setbacks again, um, but yeah, we have to go out and do the same thing uh, in two nights from now. And and it's it's about building habits, uh, building consistency, and when you do that, you start winning a lot of games. Uh, and uh, you know it's not easy to do, or every team would do it. Uh, but that's what we're building towards. Um, so we get you know we get two more opportunities in the next three nights, and uh, you know we should be excited about those opportunities to get better again.